What's up guys? It's time for episode two, Electric Boogaloo, on the Flashlight Shoes Creation Series. And you know, Electric Boogaloo is actually pretty fitting this time because today we're gonna to be working on the electrical diagram. I drew up a quick sketch of what it's actually going to look like, but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how I actually draw up an electrical diagram. And it's pretty simple. It's not gonna to be too in depth. It's just going to be a simple electric diagram that I can look at when I actually go to build the flashlight shoes physically. So I'll be able to look at that and be able to tell where I'm routing my wires and everything. So I take a look at all the, the manual specifications and everything to see where everything is supposed to be wired. And I show you guys how I draw it all up. So this one should be a shorter video. It doesn't take too long to draw up a wiring diagram. And I'll try to explain as I go on everything I do. So let's get into the build. So to get started, I want to take a look at all of the primary components. So this voice recognition module and the other voice recognition module as well. And I want to see what kind of voltage they require and you know, how everything's wired up. Now, I've already taken a look at this. I'm just you know showing this again for uh, your guys' sake. But as you can see, it needs five volts there. And then this is how it connects to the Arduino for this one, for the VR3, Voice Recognition Module 3. So the VCC on the VR module, five volts, goes to five volts on the Arduino, pin two to TX, pin three to RX, ground to ground. Uh, pretty simple. That, that, that It looks like that's all you really need to wire it up. So I'm going to make sure to include that in the wiring diagram. And then for the other one here, this uh, GRU speak re speech recognizer, it looks like we need to do pretty much the same thing. It looks like four pins as well. It's going to ground five volts, pin two and pin three. You know, just zooming in a little bit to see it better. Yeah, it looks like it's going to the same ones there. So it actually hooks up the same way. And then they have an uh, you know, extended wiring diagram here that just kind of shows it hooked up with some LEDs. So it's got some resistors on there and you can see how it hooks up there. So it looks like uh, they, they hook up the same way. So I only need to draw one wiring diagram and I can do the same thing for both of them, essentially. So that should be good. Just taking a look to make sure there's nothing else here. Yep, that should be fine. All right. And then just taking a look at the board. There we go. Our ground VCC, RX and TX looks good. And then the same thing there. Yep. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to uh, circuit, circuito.io just to grab some pictures for the actual components that I'll be using. I would do the whole thing in this because you can actually use this for wiring and it, and it looks relatively nice. But the, the speech recognizers aren't in here because these are our like, third party speech recognizers that aren't really included with the circuito.io. So I'm just going to take a picture of the Arduino Nano because they already have it put on a little breadboard for me here. So I should just be able to take this and use that for drawing it. So you can see here it has a description of the part. Make sure you're grabbing the right thing. So that looks good. And I... Yep, yeah, got the breadboard there. And I also tried looking for a nine volt battery just to see if I could have that already showing. So I throw that in, but the way it has the wires going, like that is right, that's how it would be connected, but it's going to the ground all the way up there for some reason, instead of the ground down there. And it, I just didn't feel like messing with it too much. So I was gonna get rid of that and take a picture of the Arduino board. And then I can just bring that into something else to actually begin to start drawing up my wiring diagram. So let's see, get a good look at it. And then I should be able to go into paint. And remember when I said at the in the intro that you know this is very simple? It is very simple. I'm just using paint. I'm not doing anything special. This isn't what you would call a industry standard, so to speak. You know, if you're working at a company or something, you probably wouldn't want to use paint. But this is just for for my own purposes, essentially, for when I go to build it. That way I can see how everything connects wiring wise. I want to have it all laid out in front of me to lessen the amount of stakes I'll make with the actual build. So I don't need to do anything fancy for that. I just need to see where everything connects. So I just draw a normal DC battery uh, symbol there. 
And then I can draw a wire going from the the ground line on the breadboard to the negative side of the battery. And then from the positive side of the battery, I can bring that to the positive line on the breadboard. And I actually probably should have used a red line for the positive line. Thinking about it now, that would have been better. But eh, it honestly doesn't matter that much. So now I can bring that from the positive. So that's nine volts there, positive nine volts going to the VT in there. Let's make that red now. So I can go to the VT in over there on the breadboard. And then I can also bring the ground up to the ground on the breadboard, both from those lines there. So that all looks good. And now the battery is connected to the breadboard. So we're already good there. That's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Now what we can do is put in the speech recognizer. And I chose to throw in this one just because it has the ground V, CC, RX, and TX labeled on it. But it se since it seems like both of them have the same kind of pin out there, uh, either one would have worked for throwing in the picture. This is also why I don't need to make two pictures. So this looks good. So I can bring the ground to my ground line there. I want I want to make sure everything has the same common ground. You can run into issues if you don't do that. And then I can bring the VCC and I should change the color here to actually make it uh, red as well. Since this is, you know, input voltage there again, it's just a visual thing. It doesn't actually matter. I could have left it all black for what it really counted for. But, you know, just just to make a little bit more visually uh, visual difference there. So I can draw the red line from the VCC to the five volt pin on the Arduino. And that's bringing the five volts from the Arduino to the speech recognizer board. So that should be good. And then I need to do the receiver. So the RXD for the board. And that goes to D3, I believe it is. So I'm looking at the manual here. And yeah, it goes to D3. So I, so I decided to make that green pretty arbitrarily decided to make it green. I just wanted to make different colors for everything to make it a little bit more clear. So make that green and that receiver pin can go to the D3 and then the transmitter pin goes to D2. So I'll make that one orange because why not? I'm trying to figure out how to draw this without it looking really weird. I, I should have just gone up, up a pin, but yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So I can go that, draw in the orange wire there, and we have our receiver and transmitter pins hooked up. So now we have everything hooked up to the Arduino and the speech recognizer with the battery. So that's good so far. And as you can see, the way I kind of drew these out here, if you remember the first video when I did the CAD, you see I have the Arduino on the right, I have the speech recognizer on the left, and I have the battery at the back there, just like how it would look in the shoe. So I, I just kind of did that because it makes it a little bit easier to visualize that way. So it kind of helps drawing the CAD diagram first just because of that even. Though really you could do it in either order. It doesn't really matter that much. But now I'm just drawing in a symbol for the LED thought about grabbing a picture of the LED like I did for the Arduino board and the speech recognizer board. But I mean, it's ultimately in the end, it's positive pin, negative pin. It's an LED. It's nothing crazy. So I'm just going to draw in the circuit symbol for an LED, just like how I did with the battery. I mean, I could have brought in a picture of the battery, but I was like, okay, I'll just draw in the circuit diagram symbol for it. I know what it means. It's not that complicated. So now I can draw the wire going from the LED to the Arduino board. And that's going to need to go to so this pin. So that's the input of the. So that's going to need to go to one of the uh, digital inputs in the Arduino or outputs, whatever. And then the other one goes to ground. So that's just going across the Arduino board there. And now I can do some labeling here so I can make sure that I know what everything is just at a glance, because even though 
I already color coded everything. So now I want to add in some labeling just to make everything as clear as possible, because that's the whole purpose of this is to make sure that before I actually start wiring everything up, I know what I'm doing. And also when I go to look at this while I'm wiring everything up, I can see what I drew in the clearest way possible. So I'll label the battery nine volts, label the LED as LED. Even that, labeling the LED as LED is kind of overkill. I know that's an LED, but I figured, eh, why not? Then I can label the orange line as TXD. And actually, I'll even say what it's going to. So TXD to D2 because the Arduino board picture looks a little blurry. So just to make it as clear as possible, I'll include that in my labeling here. So then RXD going to D3. So that's clear and making it big and bold. That way I can see it at a glance. And then my five volt pin or my VCC is going to five volts. So that's all good. So make sure to include that there. So VCC to five volts. And I don't really need to put a label on ground. I mean, ground is ground. It's all sharing a common ground. So that should be fine. And the thing to note is that on the Arduino board, all those grounds on there are common. So even though I have a ground on one side and a ground on the other side, they should all be the same. And I forgot to put in the resistor here. So let me just pop that part open in the circuit and just throw in a resistor. I don't want to accidentally burn out the LED or anything. So let me throw that in. And as far as the resistance on it, and eh, I mean, 220 should be fine. Maybe I'd go up to one kilo ohm, but I'll just go. I'll just say 220 ohms for now. Uh, that that should be safe and, and fine. I don't really think there'd be an issue with it. So with that, that should be pretty much it for the circuit diagram. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you like subscribe. If, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Um, put it down in the comment section below. Any suggestions on what I can do better? And also, oh, by the way, some of the lights are coming in now. Look at, look at these things. They are absolutely tiny. But uh, soon we're going to be able to actually do the real build. So next episode should be uh, code. I think I'll go over. I'll start doing the initial code and just seeing what I think the code's going to look like. Now, again, with the code, the electrical diagram, everything really can change once I actually start building it. All of this is uh, kind of theoretical until I actually build the flashlight shoes. But... I'll probably be able to start building it episode four, maybe, I think. Everything should be here by then, so that'll be good. But again, like, subscribe for the YouTube algorithms, and let me know what you thought. All right, have a good one.